some of us are getting into the act a little early. The Linden Hills neighborhood garage sale started a day early at some homes because a clear forecast this weekend is about the only thing you can't buy. Actually, hope is for sale. <laughs> Technically, hope is the name of this chicken, but it's also about the only thing anyone can do in the face of impending rain. We have a few tents and uh, there is a garage <laughs> and some things will just get wet. Golfers are also going to have to roll with the rain if they want to be among the first to play at the new Braemar Golf Course in Edina. We've been closed for a couple years for renovations and we're just getting opened up. Which means they're booked solid and unless there's lightning or severe weather, golfers will be playing through it. There's not a lot of room to delay anything. We just need to get them out if we can and if we can't then we'll have to, some of the customers are just going to have to wait until next week. For Art of World in Northeast Minneapolis, there is no next week. And a little rain never hurt anyone. Anna Becker says most of the artists taking part in the annual showcase are indoors, and these trolleys will be offering free dry rides to and from the biggest attractions. But also we do a free metro transit pass. So if people go to our website at NEMA.org, they can download a pass for each day of Art of World where they can take metro transit for free. In other words, there's no reason to chicken out. It's just going to be a, a really fun day, and even with rain, don't worry. Now, if you'd rather explore indoors this week weekend, that's not necessarily a bad idea, of course. Doors Open Minneapolis has 113 venues, including the IDS Center, which you can see so clearly from here, and all but two of those venues are all indoors. For all the information, Go check out this story on care11.com. Back to you. All right, very good. Thank you, Kat.